Fluke 805 vibration meter is a handheld tool for making measurements of bearing condition and overall vibration. It's a quick and reliable way for go or no-go testing of rotating equipment. So today we're going to do a very simplest test of uh, vibration and bearing condition and uh, we'll begin by turning the unit on and then we'll select setup. The first line of the display is RPM range and we want to check that so we'll hit enter and we have two choices greater than 600 RPM or less than 600 RPM. Uh, I'm going to choose greater than 600 RPM, which will probably be your most common setting. And then I'm going to go to the next screen and go down one line to machine category and press enter. And now I have many choices. The first one is skip. I can actually skip this uh, setting. And uh, what will happen is the tester just won't make any judgments about the severity of uh, the bearing or the over overall vibration reading. But I'm going to pick the first one, reciprocating chiller open motor, as my category. And so now I've, I've done the two settings that I wish to do, and I'm ready to measure. So I'll, uh, I'll press the measure key, and then we'll, uh, we'll get in position to make our measurement. We'll pick a location on the motor housing close to the bearing and then we'll take our, meet, our vibration meter and uh, try to approach it perpendicular. I'll press the measure button and then apply enough pressure to, to get a repeatable reading and when I do the green light will illuminate. So I'm going to press the measure button. I'm going to apply pressure. The green light comes on and now I have my reading. Starting at the top of the screen, you'll see the uh, date and time, and then you'll see an entry that says bearing uh, three CF plus, and uh, in highlighted uh, lettering, you'll see good. Uh, that's telling us that uh, out of a reading from zero to 16, the bearing was a three, and it's done with uh, Crest Factor Plus, and uh, that the based on the the category that we chose uh, for that type of equipment, it's given that a, uh, a severity rating of good. The next entry is overall vibration, and uh, we have chosen the, the uh, units of G's peak, and uh, you can actually change that if you wish. And uh, we got a reading of 0.06, and in this case, it's also given that a severity scale of good. And then the last entry is temperature, infrared temperature taken by the, the uh, infrared uh, measuring device uh, took the temperature reading of the case of the motor when we were doing the vibration test. And it was 68.7 degrees F. And that's how we analyze the, the uh, results of the, of the uh, vibration test.